this particular chapel piano was actually the main piano in the Memorial Hall, which is today the Victoria Concert Hall. It was certainly played on by many world-renowned pianists. And so it really has a important history in Singapore's musical life. The Victoria Memorial Hall, pre-Second World War, already had its time with grand. Uh, by the time the war ended, this grand was very tired, so they wanted to replace it. But there was a lot of debate on whether they should spend a lot of money on the Steinway or spend less money on a cheaper piano. So eventually, after a lot of discussion, the city council, which was in charge of the model, decided to spend quite a lot of money on the Steinway. This new Steinway for Singapore was built, was even engraved with the city council's name and all that, but eventually it was never delivered. There was a mysterious sort of communication to the city council claiming that the price for the new Steinway was too high, was actually lower. After some investigation, they found that it wasn't true, but this particular uh, development stalled the, the, the delivery and eventually the plan to get the Steinway to Singapore was abandoned and the city council ordered a chapel, grand piano at a much cheaper price. The very first impressions of the chapel piano when it arrived at Memorial Hall were not favorable. Thornton North House, a British pianist, one of the first to play the piano, he didn't actually say that it was a bad piano. He made a remark, well, it's okay, but it's not a Steinway. Not exactly a favorable comment. I believe the first formal piano recital uh, where the chapel was used was in January 53. Uh, and the recital was given by pianist Jamie Chavin Monier. And I think what happened was that in the first half of the concert, she was so disappointed with the tone of the chapel that after the interval, they actually moved the chapel out and brought back the old Steinway. So the first appearance of the chapel was not an auspicious one. The great uh, Chilean pianist Claudio Arau came to Singapore in the 50s and played on the in the Memorial Hall, you know. And uh, his, he made this immortal comment recorded in Straits Times. He was enraged at the quality of the piano he had to play upon. He said it was, the sound was a cross between a frying pan and a cooking pot. And after that, the name frying pan piano stuck to the chapel for a very long time. I'm trying to cast my memory back as to whether I had attended the silence. Possibly because in the 50s, I would have been, if you take, say, 1955, I would have been primary six. But I was quite keen on concerts, so I used to go to the model in my secondary school days. So I must have heard the piano uh, played by concert pianists. To be very honest, I cannot recall whether it was a good piano or not a good piano because, you know, when you went to the model, the model hall and you had a great pianist, like Julius Ketchum thing, you're so in awe of the pianist that you didn't think about the piano tone, really. In the late 1950s, the City Council decided to undertake a major renovation of the Victoria Theatre. So at that time, they decided that they could replace the chapel. They bought a brand new Steinway grand, which actually replaced the chapel in the Memorial Hall next to the theatre. And the chapel was moved to a small practice theatre in between the theatre and the Memorial Hall. As a public piano, I think it will be perfectly serviceable. Of course, the chapel has been completely refurbished by a very expert piano technician, and he's done quite a number of things to refurbish the piano. I'm sure many members of the public will queue up to play this piano. I hope they will play all kinds of music, classical, jazz, pop, whatever. And this is a perfect venue because here you will have a mix of literature and music.